Hey, Salakia, my phone cut out. But, um, you know, what I was basically going into is how, you know, speaking about politics and things like that at work, is, that's just going to bring contention. But more importantly, you know, when you're speaking about the truth and you're revealing, you know, what's actually scriptural, you know, it's, it's, cause it's, it's just going to bring more heat upon you. Because, like we've been saying, the mindset of these people of this world, man, is just... It has been totally corrupted and it's backwards, you know. And when people talk about, you know, the scripture, so to speak, it's, you know, they 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 try to speak it as, you know, polit- polit- politically correct or, in a way, how you know, Esau Edom has been teaching it, you know. So when you speak against that, you know, the world uh, will look at you and frown upon you in a certain way. So that's just. It, 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 it just be more wise to just not even do so, you know. And we tell you know different brothers this all the time because all you're going to do is just bring more persecution and hell upon you. Okay, so it's just best as if you don't, as you don't do that. The same way why we tell different brothers don't be going to work wearing your, 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 your garments, man, right? Or, you know, yes, some of these cats to be walking around with their fringes and on T-shirts and things like that at work. Man, that, that's just, that's not using wisdom, man. You know, you're all you're doing is, is putting a label upon yourself, you see? And as we already read, you got to be, you know, be wise as a serpent, man. You know, so that's just, you know, basically what I wanted to go into. You know, uh, uh, just, you know, how to deal wise in this truth, man. You know, especially when you're walking amongst the people of this world, man, and the mind frame that they have, okay, so at the end of the day, you know, Lord willing, you know, I hope this, this lesson was edifying to you, brother, you know, uh, you know, and this, this is for the young brother that was speaking, speaking to, you know, you came to the camp, and um, you also be, you know, uh, on the comment boards, you know, on brothers' comment boards and live shows and things like that, but in particular, you know, you're from the city that we're in. And I just, you know, thought I, you know, mentioned this to you as I seen something stand out as, you know, as we discussed. And I said, Lord willing, I'm going to do a lesson on it as soon as. But, you know, so, you know, just, bro, you want to just keep these different things in mind, you know, uh, of knowing this truth. Okay. Um, matter of fact, I want to go further down. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 1, verse 18. All right, it says, For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. So, this is another thing as well, too, that I like to mention before I close out. So, you know, when you, the more knowledge and wisdom you start to understand, you know, you start to look at the ways of the world as for what it is, you know, and you start to, you'll start to notice that everything, right, is flipped upside down. You know, you'll know that everything in the world that's being promoted, that's being lifted up, the way people think, the way people live, it is contrary to the ways of Yah Bashim Yah And it's also, you know, uh, vexing to your spirit. Okay? Because you're trying to walk in an upright way, but everyone else is, is walking, you know, in a, in a more uh, forward way. You know? But that's what the scripture says, uh, Following out the multitude to do evil, you know, because just as the world's doing it does not mean it's OK. OK, so, you know, just throwing it out there is the, the more information that you gather. Right. The more you're going to see and the more you're going to start to understand that, you know, this place is just totally wicked and totally backward, man. Backwards, man. And, and, it, and it's barren of truth, you know, and this place is what a, a barren of truth. OK, so, you know, different things you, you take it in this wisdom, you know, a lot of times you're, you're, you're going to be upset at different things. And, you know, some days, days you may be down more than others, you know, but it's still best to have this truth at the end of the day, you know, because it's joy in having in having his truth. Because it, what does the book of John say? John 8, verse 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you or the truth shall set you free. You see? So I'll read it again. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 18. It says, For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. 
And like I said before, it's ultimately because you know how the different things and how ways really should be. Okay. Um, let's see if there's a little bit more I want to touch on. So, no, that's that's all I wanted to touch on, bro. You know, um, Lord willing, I hope this, this quick lesson was edifying to you and, uh, you know, that you could just, you know, uh, continue to fight the good fight of faith. You know, so with that, you know, um, until next time, I want to say shalom.